For over 100 years scientists like Nikola Tesla have conducted research on radio frequency and the effects of electricity on biological organisms. In a nutshell, these scientists wanted to use electricity to kill germs and cure disease. In the late 1800s Jacques Carson d'Arsonville along with Nikola Tesla introduced medical diathermy and the new science of electrophysiology was born. One of the earliest observations I made with these new machines was that electrical oscillations of an extremely high rate act in an extraordinary manner upon the human organism. These oscillations produced other specific physiological effects, which, upon my announcement, were eagerly taken up by skilled physicians and further investigated. This new field has proved itself fruitful beyond expectation, and in the few years which have passed since, it has been developed to such an extent that it now forms a legitimate and important department of medical science. Starting his research in the 1930s Dr. Royal Raymond Reif claimed to have documented a mortal oscillatory rate for various pathogenic organisms, and to be able to destroy the organisms by vibrating them at this particular rate. According to the San Diego Evening Tribune in 1938, Reif claimed that he could devitalize disease organisms in living tissue. In January 1920 experiments were started at the Rife Research Laboratory to determine the effect of electrical influences upon pathogenic microorganisms. Tests were made for anode and cathode polarity influences and the effect of infrared, ultraviolet and X-ray. During these experiments the idea was conceived of the possibility of devitalizing the pathogenic microorganisms by electrical frequencies of varying wavelengths. The initial apparatus Rife Ray No. 1 for the tests along this line of experiments was constructed and used in prolonged experiments during 1921 and 1922 with results that warranted the belief that the principles involved contained possibilities. Georges Lahovsky's medical treatment invention using Tesla coils, the multiple wave oscillator, is described as having been successfully used by him in the treatment of cancer. His book, The Secret of Life was published in 1939 just before World War II broke out. The scientist was hit and run by a limousine and was lost to the world in 1942 before he could get attention for his discovery. The cell, the essential organic unit in all living beings, is nothing but an electromagnetic resonator, capable of emitting and absorbing radiations of very high frequency. Dr. Hilda Clark discovered positive offset square waves and specific frequencies were no longer needed. Once all negative output was removed from the waveform, the Hilda Clark sapper worked using any frequency. Before with Tesla, Rife and Lahovsky you would need a large setup in a laboratory. Now with modern electronics and compact high seas inside the Hulder Clark Zapper, anyone can easily zap at home. Any positively offset frequency kills all bacteria, viruses and parasites simultaneously given sufficient voltage 5 to 10 volts duration 7 minutes and frequency anything from 10 Hz to 500,000 Hz. Generating positive offset frequencies is the best way to kill all pathogens quickly.